15 Best Things to Do in Savannah, Georgia There's so much to do in Savannah, it's hard to know where to start. From historic sites and museums to outdoor activities and great restaurants, there's something for everyone in this charming southern city. Here are some of the best things to do in Savannah. Number 1. Old Savannah Trolley Tours Explore the most popular sites around Savannah's historic district on this sightseeing trolley. This is a great option if you're in town for a limited number of days and wanted to do as much sightseeing as possible in just one afternoon. The trolley covers 22 squares and showcases some of Savannah's major landmarks, such as the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist, the Mikvah's Rail Temple, the Sorrel Weed House, the Juliet Gordon Low Home, the Forsyth Park Mansion, the Mulberry Inn, and the Pirate House. There are 15 different stops, and you can get off the trolley whenever you want to go exploring. And you can be sure that another one will be there to pick you up, almost whenever you want, as they come every 15 to 20 minutes. Number 2. The Owens Thomas House If you're an architecture guru, you're probably already familiar with this Savannah staple. But even if you're not, if you can appreciate a bit of upscale living and history, you might want to stop by the Owens Thomas House. An excellent example of English Regency architecture, the house was built in 1819 and is large enough to fill an entire block. Designed by an English architect, the house was built by a Bermuda merchant, then purchased by a congressman. Now, it is a National Historic Landmark. The house has hours that are a bit odd, so you may want to see them before heading over. Also on the house block are the carriage house, parterre garden, and one of the first intact urban slave quarters. Number 3. The Cathedral of St. John the Baptist Called the most impressive building in all of Savannah, the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist will certainly make your jaw drop. The soaring spires and stained glass windows will take your breath away, whether you're attending a religious mass or enjoying guided or self-guided tours. These tours are available from 9 to 11.45 a.m. and 12.45 to 5 p.m., Monday through Saturday, for the very affordable price of just $2. The cathedral was built where it now stands in 1876, but a historic fire destroyed much of what was there in 1898. In just two years, the cathedral was rebuilt and now represents the faith tradition within Savannah. It calls itself one of the top 10 historic sites to visit in the United States and welcomes hundreds of thousands of tourists each year. Number 4. Forsyth Park Savannah's historic district is beautiful enough on its own but Forsyth Park definitely adds to the charm. A beautiful, lush green landscape. It's popular with tourists and locals alike, and you'll find 30 acres of trees, flowers, and other foliage. There's almost always something going on here, from outdoor concerts to the farmer's market that's open every Saturday. Forsyth Park is also home to one of the most photographed spots in all of Savannah. The huge, beautiful fountain is totally Instagram-worthy. You won't want to miss it. Number 5. Telfair Museum of Art The oldest art museum in the South, the Telfair Museum is housed inside a classic Regency mansion designed by an English architect and purchased by the son of the Georgian governor. The house was completed in 1819 and remained within the same family until 1875, when the last surviving member of the Telfair family left the house and all its furnishings to the Georgia Historical Society. The structure was expanded just eight years later adding a sculpture gallery and rotunda. The grand opening was an excellent affair, attracting famous faces like Jefferson Davis. Now, when you visit, you'll see carefully restored interior rooms, paintings by German and French-American impressionists, period furniture, silver, and other items. In addition, the museum houses the largest public collection of Karl Gibran paintings, more than 80. Number 6. Historic Site of Worms Low if you're looking for that quintessential southern photo with the mossy oaks hanging over a beautiful lane, this is where you'll find it. This historic site includes a beautiful avenue with all the oaks and Spanish moss you could want, and leads up to the Wormslow Ruins, a colonial estate that is the oldest structure in Savannah at this time. If you visit during an event, you may see a costumed reenactor or two, but on a normal day, you can still visit the museum with colonial artifacts and walk the nature trail which runs through the ruins, a marsh, and surrounding area. The grounds. Guided tours begin daily at 9.30, 11, 1.30, and 3. 
Number 7. Savannah's Boardwalk Did you know that Savannah had a waterfront? People are sometimes surprised to hear that Savannah has its own river. River Street was historically significant as a warehouse row, highly supporting the cotton industry. However, River Street was abandoned for decades after the yellow fever epidemic, only to be rediscovered and put back into use after the 1960s. Now, guests can walk the cobblestone streets and see centuries of history laid out before them as they pass by the dozens of businesses inside the previously abandoned warehouses right on the river. Whether you're looking for shopping, restaurants, drinks, or galleries, it's all here. Number 8. Wilkes House It's not another architectural marvel to tour, but rather a place to fill your senses with all the tradition of excellent Southern cuisine. The Wilkes House has been feeding Southerners for decades, and you can eat the same fried chicken, sweet potatoes, okra, gumbo, cornbread, cookies, and more that regularly appear on the menu. The menu changes daily, and the atmosphere is decidedly casual and informal. Seating is family style, everyone pays a fixed price to dine, and cash is the only type of currency accepted here. Number 9. City Market Easily within reach of all your sightseeing in Savannah, the City Market is four blocks of open-air stores, all surrounded by restored warehouses with tons of cute additional shopping, plus restaurants and dart. There are also many outdoor concerts on the square, and it can be a great stop to sit and people watch. However, keep in mind, the market is home to a few bars, so it's possible for the afternoon crowd to get a little rowdy. If you are visiting with children, be sure to stop by in the morning or early afternoon. Number 10. The Historic Savannah Theater The oldest continuously operating theater in the United States, the Historic Savannah Theater was built in 1818, opening in December with a comedy. Now, the square where it is located, Chippewa Square has become a big part of Savannah's nightlife and entertainment, mainly because of the theater. Now, while the theater offers nightly shows, it also offers something else for movie geeks. Just outside, you'll find a bench where several scenes from the movie Forrest Gump were filmed. This is a popular spot for photos now, as you can probably imagine. Number 11. Bonaventure Cemetery For more moss-laden oak goodness and a taste of southern ghosts, the South has its fair share of Gothic style. By the way, head to Bonaventure Cemetery one of the most beautiful cemeteries in the world. It's on many visitors' bucket lists. Free to enter, the property is over 100 acres. If you feel like taking a tour, rather than just wandering around on your own, you can get a free guided tour on the weekends of the second Sunday of each month. Number 12. Old Fort Jackson Historic Site Old Fort Jackson is the oldest brick fort in Georgia, built in 1808. It attracts 50,000 visitors each year, and for good reason. The fort is named after a Georgian governor who liberated Savannah from British rule and was one of the strongest fortifications in the entire United States, as it was built entirely of earth, then faced with brick, and then topped with a wooden platform. Additions were made to the fort during the War of 1812, and it looks great today as it did at the time. Self-guided tours are available, and you can enjoy views of the Savannah River from the top. Stay long enough to hear the cannons firing, and these are the 15 best things to visit in Savannah, Georgia. Which one would you like to go visit first? Leave us your opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you soon.